someone quickly. I met him in Kenya, Bishop John C. W. Bishop John C. W. is a son. He's one of my sons. I want him to greet us with the Holy Ghost for for 15 minutes. John C. W. In my nation, we say. Buana Yesu asifiwe. Can we try? Buana Yesu asifiwe. Yes. John, John C.W., wait, wait, wait. I almost committed sacrilege. Our first international outpost is the Ghana outpost. It's the queen, it's the queen of the international ministry. And the Ghana people are here. It will be sacrilege for me to come down without mentioning Ghana. So, Pastor Dame and his team, this is the face of Ghana. The queen of foreign missions. Hallelujah. And during the course of this conference, uh, our pastor in Ghana, He's a graduate from Assemblies of God Seminary in Ghana, but he refused to take ordination from there. So he's one of the few people that will be ordained during the course of this meeting. I must tell you, in anointing, in character, in wisdom, we have found him a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that is Pastor Isaac Odame, and you know his wife, the explosive praise and worship leader. Amen. <laughs> God bless you indeed. Um, I don't know if our pastor in Benin Republic is here. Okay, he couldn't make it. Okay, so I think that will be all. Please continue with that, that Kenyan word again. Sante sana. Karibu. <laughs> okay, so let's try it again. Say, Buana Yesu. Asifiwe. That means praise Jesus. So let's try it again. Buana Yesu. Nigeria, Buana Yesu. Asifiwe. And then you say, Amina. So Nigeria, Buana Yesu. Asifiwe. Very well, very well. Now, I will be within the framework of that time, 15, but in the event it flows over, allow it to be 17. <laughs> and we will uh, we'll be ascending shortly. And you will understand why we are in the nation of Nigeria. We are not here for gimmicks or theatrics. We are here to communicate the heart of God and prove to our generation that Elohim is alive. Before I continue, in the event you see and you wonder, oh, the young man, I am taken. I'm almost a decade in my marriage. And I am married to a beautiful woman. And I am, and this woman has given me three beautiful children. My wife, wherever you are, please stand on your ground. So they see, they know that I so well. Ooh, can you clap better? What is your problem? The Lord is good. The proof, if you are here and you are a pastor and you are not married, stand up. Stand up quickly. Wait. Let me tell you. There is a dimension of authority you will never have until family is your lifestyle. So today, receive your wife. Amen. 
And in the event you don't have, stop looking far. Don't waste time for your man of God here. See close. They are all, look for the one that like, that is a good one. The one that does not have makeup after prayer. Not the one that has makeup. If they have makeup after prayer, leave that one. That's a joke. Look for the one that is sweating. That is a good one. Mine always sweats. Salebra ah. I hope I'm not yet within the 15 minutes. I'm still charging. This should be excluded. Out of <laughs> In Jesus' name. The Lord is good. I am here on behalf of East Africa. To show you that the work that began 14 years ago is spreading upon the continent of Africa. And that East Africa is taking shape by the glory of God. We celebrate the Lord for the great man of God. Can we celebrate our father and mother in the Lord? In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is good. I want to take a few minutes and bring a charge your way. And I consider myself the least of those that will stand here. When my father in the Lord asked me to communicate something today, I was not aware. I was not coming for pulpit. We are not men that seek this thing. We seek God in private. The pulpit will seek us. When we seek God, we are not here for this thing. Here we drain power. It is in the night where we get it. So I keep telling men of God, stop looking for people to call you to teach. Look for Jesus in the night. Any man that looks for Jesus, men must look for you. It is a simple framework. And that is what we did. And I can tell you for the longest time, this is one of the most expensive relationships. You don't understand what it costed me to have him call me my son. When the Lord came to me, some years back, I was what you call keke, but in my, no, not keke. It's called 9-11. I had the man of God call it the, the Mercedes, the one that has people. I was a matatu tout. Bolwe, Molwe. I was a matatu tout at 15, 16. And there was no plan if I was to succeed. So I had to find another route. And that route was prayer. I did not come from a family that has opportunity for men. In fact, where I come from, they swallow them when they notice you are seeking Jesus. So this is not the place where your Christianity is in gimmicks. You are here Monday to Saturday. And then you are here on Sunday. It is either God or nothing. That is where we came from. And I saw my father wealthy. But die. Like a terrible human. And I knew that if I would get another way. It will not be the way that he's used to. I must have to look for Jesus. So it is either Jesus or nothing. And the few charges that I'll be bringing you away shortly before the man of God comes. I am not a teacher. But I bless the Lord for this opportunity. So when I, in the spirit, when the Lord came to me and he told me that you'll be the one to bring the general of our time to the nation. I call it East Africa. To me it's one nation. We are a Swahili speaking nation. And sooner than later the thing will come back. It is these barriers that have us lose our African nature. The government should remove these barriers. See, you are Nigerian. We are Africans. That's the language. There is no Nigerian and Kenyan. We are African. And at that point, he told me that I would be the one to bring the general of our time and minister Theophila Sunday. I had nothing. So I began in prayer. And shortly, because I don't have time to share this, I will ask my father one day to allow me to share the testimony. I had nothing. My wife and I were in a one room house, sleeping on a mattress with what in my country we call stuff. And the Lord came to me and told me, <laughs> what he say? You are the point man for East Africa. It looked like a joke because I asked the Lord, how will it be? And the Lord told me, you will know it is not by might, not by power. So there is a place your might will come to an end if Jesus is to begin. Your might must fail. The thing will work out. It will fail. And if your might is in view, forget about power. Men that talk power should be powerless before that power. Okay, the thing is coming. The thing is coming. Valas cobra di meluski atamena. Molos cabra skifaloni adobola. Simmer escavillo. 
Eko de meno si kraba no gi pana no we nega di afana de gi pro de gi minu ni vidi para. So my life, so my life, Ali Kama. I'm rip Kenya for you. That is the thing we are going to do today. Most of you do not understand that if the world is to be rift, men must die to self. So my life. And rip Nigeria for you. So CW. So my life. And rip this nation for you. My question to you is, are you the one that God will sow? Are you the main seed for the sake of a miscop? Kabilo monos kapladi. Melus compra di veloci at a melo cobra di vela. Akababa muana sifa. Coveladi a mailuski kapa. Le cobra di a savalia come. Cabletos cabali a mana. Sekedegedegede bradia. Ampelos cabra meno. Saikumbeli. Hey! Manaminu si kibidu upe li krovana binana Bigodo bede mana sifle bedo mana ya gadada Ekani malisi ya tapena The Holy Ghost is here today And if your heart is genuine You will receive the power After the Holy Ghost descends upon you Monoclidons Aisus salia monokampala Descobre de milia Salamanda li kumena si selo kabradivela Anka koko koko kakabradia selefenade li mikaya Father, you told me today you do a quick work Do it in this generation Do it in this generation Saito kome Aparadu ale kopara Seke pede kede kede So you Holy Ghost and let a generation arise. So the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost. Ebinu Dikuma. Sisko Prenes. Sailamo no kuwa. Because of time, allow me to show you something in the Bible. I have a problem with short time because one of the problems of a teacher, we see, we see. And this generation was deprived of the teacher. Jesus did not reject any title, but the title of a teacher, he accepted. He said, who are you? You are a teacher. And this generation needs, has what we call microwave. Let me tell you, there are things you tap, there are things you follow process. So when you see some oils on men of God, stop coming for prayer to tap it. Let me tell you, 20 years cannot be gotten in one day. You lie. You lie. Frescovili manadu upana. Quickly, I want to show you something here. And then I give way. I promise I'm not one of those that uh, do not know when to quit the microphone. We are beyond the, the teaching spirit. We, we are into the life of God. So I see a lot of prophets, they prophesy gift, not the call of the spirit. Be very careful when you teach your own capacity. There is a time God will tell you in all your prophetic gift, prophesy to one. But because the way they received you, you want them to know that you are a prophet. You are a baby and you should not be handed the pulpit. Sit down and grow. Sit down. This generation has glorified men that they created. Not men that God called. And let me tell you, the proof that God called you is not on the capacity of your resources. God can call you and still be in the wilderness. When we built our ministry, it was impossible because the amount of wealth we needed to do what we did. The, the teacher came, the senior teacher came, and I was not aware. And in less than a year, because we followed the protocol of the Holy Ghost, we built. Without funds, hear me, men of God, there is a realm where fundraising is not in your view. You don't understand. 
And by the time we were finished, because of time, we had the deputy president of our nation come to a man born in the village. A young man that had nowhere to go. And we had a senior teacher of our days. You call him Papa. I call him senior teacher. Because even, they, even though we are all teachers, they are men and then they are men. I don't believe I'm in that capacity. I will never be. When he came to Kenya, he says, we have our friend from Kenya. After he finished, I called him on the side. I said, don't call me your friend. Don't call me. Don't call me your friend. I'm not your friend. I refuse that title. That is yours. Go back to God. I'm not your friend. Because some of you get little opportunity and then you begin to size yourself with men that have labored in the territory. You think that because you have 10 members, now they are calling you papa. You think that your papa is, uh, is the same with his papa. No. Satan will test you. Hear me? Satan will test the quality of name you are attracting. You, you are a test agent. Many of us, we start ministry and the first thing is prophet, doctor, of the first move of revival. Leave those ones. It is not the title that carries weight. It is your structure in the spirit. So I am here to simply charge a generation. And those of you that think it is boring, you only serve God when you are 40. I'm not anywhere close. And my fire depends by the day. Quickly, let's take our Bibles quickly. And let me show you something here. In the night, I was studying something for your sake. And in the event you find this boring, please wait. I hope this is not where, you know, in my country, unless you preach this way, they will not hear you. Okay, let's write. I see your car coming. I see your house coming. I see your wife coming. Receive. Somebody say, yeah. Somebody say, mm. Somebody say, car. Leave that one. You will say car for 20 years and go nowhere. Okay, let's go quickly. Uh, let's open the book of um, Luke. Sorry, Matthew 6, 9. Quickly, I want to show you something here. And then I go my way. Matthew 6, 9 to 13. Please, if you are there, because I already know this is a classroom, let us read if you have your Bible. It says, after this, is there any person that has a microphone quickly? After this manner, therefore, pray. So this is a conversation about the disciples and they wanted to find out. They saw Jesus becoming someone. And they wanted to find out what is the secret to your becoming? What is the secret? Uh, it is amazing how Jesus did not take them to, to men. My secret is the man I know. Or my secret is the wealth I have. They wanted to discover the secret to which Jesus deploys to become the person that he is. He said, after this manner therefore pray, he gave them a template. Because the previous uh, uh, conversation was a question. He says, after this manner pray, our father which art in, please quickly, quickly, our father, where is the location of your daddy? Class, can we talk? Okay, senior doctor of the evangelist move. All of you together. Where is your father? So now we already know the location of your father is where? That is his location. That is his residence. The same way you leave the conference and your residence is where you stay. The residence of your way is heaven. He say, hello be thy name. Now, this word hello is not the hello you used to take your phone. Hello, how are you? That's not what it means. I don't have time to explain this. It's not that hello. Okay, then continue verse 10 because of time. After that conversation, he talks about something. What, did, what do you see there? Please talk loudly. After you acknowledging that the location of your father is heaven and having a conversation with him, the first capacity to which you express to him, it is not your need. It is not your long prayer list. It is thy kingdom come. This is a structure if you want to meet Jesus. This is a structure. Oh, sorry. You know, my father came to Kenya and did the same thing. I hope I'm not. Let me stay here. Okay, let's go quickly. Uh, 
let's open the book of um, Luke. Sorry, Matthew 6, 9. Quickly, I want to show you something here. And then I go my way. Matthew 6, 9 to 13. Please, if you are there, because I already know this is a classroom, let us read if you have your Bible. He says, after this, is there any person that has a microphone quickly? After this manner, therefore, pray. So this is a conversation about the disciples and they wanted to find out. They saw Jesus becoming someone. And they wanted to find out what is the secret to your becoming? What is the secret? Uh, it is amazing how Jesus did not take them to, to men. My secret is the man I know. Or my secret is the wealth I have. They wanted to discover the secret to which Jesus deploys to become the person that he is. He said, after this manner, therefore pray. He gave them a template. Because the previous uh, uh, conversation was a question. He says, after this manner pray. Our father, which at him. Please quickly, quickly. Our father, where is the location of your daddy? Class, can we talk? Okay, senior doctor of the evangelist move. All of you together. Where is your father? So now we already know the location of your father is where? That is his location. That is his residence. The same way you leave the conference and your residence is where you stay. The residence of your way is heaven. He say, hello be thy name. Now, this word hello is not the hello you used to take your phone. Hello, how are you? That's not what it means. I don't have time to explain this. It's not that hello. Okay, then continue verse 10 because of time. After that conversation, he talks about something. What, did, what do you see there? Please talk loudly. After you acknowledging that the location of your father is heaven and having a conversation with him, the first capacity to which you express to him, it is not your need. It is not your long prayer list. It is thy kingdom come. This is a structure if you want to meet Jesus. This is a structure. Oh, sorry. You know, my father came to Kenya and did the same thing. I hope I'm not. Let me stay here. Thy kingdom come. And once that kingdom come, now please read the next part. Thy will be done in earth as it is in where he is now. Now, because of time, I want to, this is my point verse. Thy kingdom come. God considers his kingdom more important than your prayer list. And God does not respond to his children. God responds to they that are after the kingdom. So you can be a Christian for 20 years and receive nothing from God. And a man can come be a Christian for two months because the alignment of the kingdom is what he's after. Do you understand? So don't think that it is because of your crying. You can be crying for two hours and you only made sense for two seconds. <laughs> when you started the kingdom conversation, that is when the ear of God moved. But you stopped it because your son is sick and your womb is sealed. You did not understand the protocol of arrival in the heavenly realm. So God does not hear men until kingdom is their language. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Now, I want to bring to you, the will of God is not executed unless his kingdom first comes. Stop talking about the will of God. Now, let me explain to you. Uh, a woman is pregnant. Before the man deposits a seed to the womb of a woman, the woman must first have a what? The womb. Are you understanding? It is not the womb, the seed that creates the womb. Now, the will of God is the seed. It must first find the womb, which is the kingdom concept. Now, the seed, which is the will of God, can only be deposited in the womb, which is the kingdom mind. It is in that womb that the seed will find expression. And without that womb, no matter how much you deploy the seed, there is no space to grow. The womb is that kingdom. Now, when the Bible says the kingdom come, it explains to you that before you talk about pregnancy, look at the capacity to bear. So many of us, 
We are talking about discovering the will of God and you do not have the structure to contain it. Thy kingdom come. This is the most important thing. In fact, this is how Jesus began his ministry. And if you are not aware, by the time he was dying, this is how he ended his ministry. We left the kingdom teaching and went into good sermon. And let me tell you my generation, good sermons will not save this generation. Those things you like, itchiness to your ear, we will have a bunch of weak men. So at the place of being deployed to another nation to seek, it is, the, it is a scat you saw because you are not structured well. You didn't know that the call is beyond the 20 mini pleasure. Walky, worthy of your calling. I have seen and I've studied in this generation and many places. There is a young man in the place in America. Because of wisdom, I will not speak his name. He started talking about how uh, it is religious to teach that all should speak in tongues. You know, you are a baby. Sit down. That teaching you are teaching is not true to the word of God. The Bible says when they were all up in the upper room, the Bible says the spirit came upon all of them. Now the problem with our generation, the teacher today teaches out of his weak point. <laughs> you are not getting. Okay, let me Okay, let me leave you. Okay, receive your car. The teacher teaches out of his weak point. Assuming you are not able to speak in tongues, you will look for scriptures that support not being able to speak in tongues. Now you will have a generation of 10,000 men and the proof that you are born of the spirit is not addition of men. It's proof of place of staying in the place of prayer. The longevity of your prayer life determines how you found God. It is not 10,000 men can be handed and they are all blind like, like you. So you have a bunch of people, 10,000 people following you. And you think that the proof that they are following you is now, I am filled of the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you, Jesus gave certain men, he said, ye are of your father, the devil. So even the kingdom of darkness advances by day. Now this is what I want to tell you as I sit down. Thy kingdom come. This generation will not experience the will of God until the womb of God first arise. And that womb is the protocol of the kingdom. And God will never do anything unless he first discovers that you can carry it. Now shortly I want you to stand on your feet and I want us to, to pray one prayer. Father, give me structure to contain your will. <laughs> I see a lot of men coming. Man of God, give me what you have. Give me what you have. Listen, he cannot give you. It is your alignment that will take it. I want you to pray that prayer. That Father, this kingdom, give me the ability to discover your kingdom. Malutos kopalimenus yatana barakua. Embregedos arivani astoshe. Iko pandeles olam du gadali. Frescos copras kevelia marakua. Ege pendeles virupi indolia manua katali. Pray that God will give you the structure to contain his will. Stop looking for his will. Look for his 